out your spirit. Pour out your spirit. Pour Be viewing out the outpouring your for your refreshing and infilling. Pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit. Pour Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you on truth. My topic is going to be truth. And when we look at truth, there is just so much to talk about truth. But before I get into the full message, uh, I want you to just pause with me for a minute. Uh, while we ask God's blessings on the word and ask him to really reveal truth in our hearts, truth in our lives, truth in our spoken word, and that, you know, wherever there is lies or deception, it will be exposed. Father, in the name of Jesus, and God, by the power of your Holy Spirit, Father, I thank you for yet another opportunity God, to share your word, God, to speak into the hearts and lives of uh, persons, God, that are viewing this program. Oh God, I pray that uh, the entrance of your word will bring light and will bring truth in the inward parts. Father, I pray, God, that as your word goes forth today, God, it will be like a search light. Uh, God, to bring illumination where darkness is. And Father, I pray also, God, that there will be transformation. God, and even as I share, whatever, you know, it's in me that the light also needs to shine on. Whatever area of darkness or deception or lies, Father, I also open myself, God, to the entrance of your word, God, that truth may be revealed in us and our every word, our every action, our very behaviors will reflect the truth. So God, thank you. Bless your word. Bring transformation in Jesus' name. Amen. Viewers, I really welcome you to the outpouring. And today, as I said earlier on, we're going to be speaking on truth. And I was stimulated on this topic um, by reading Psalm 15. And in your own time, you know, you can take out your Bibles and look at Psalm 15. And Psalm 15, you know, we are commanded to speak the truth, not only in our mouth, but in that verse, it says, speak the truth in your heart. So it means that our heart also has a voice and we can lie in our hearts and God really wants truth and when we look throughout the Word of God each one in the triune God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit each one at different times is referred to with the word truth we start with the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth in John chapter 16 and verse 13 it says and when the spirit of truth is come he will lead you into all truth and this was Jesus speaking he, in the setting where he was you know getting ready to leave he was getting ready to depart and he was encouraging his disciples you know to wait for the Holy Spirit and in describing the Holy Spirit he described the Holy Spirit in many different ways like the comforter and the teacher and the guide and another way the Holy Spirit was described as the spirit of truth who will lead us and guide us into all truth so we have that responsibility to wait and invite and encourage the spirit of truth and let that Holy Spirit of truth walk with us and by walking with us and we walking with the Holy Spirit we will be led and guided into all truth we also have Jesus in um, in the book of John chapter 1 and I think it's verse 7 where he's he his own words you know he is described as truth you know he said Moses brought us the law 
but Jesus gave us grace and the truth and also the first verse that I opened with when I began the program Jesus he, he described himself he said I am the way the truth and the life so we see the Holy Spirit being referred to as the spirit of truth we also have Jesus saying I am the way the truth and the life and also he says well Moses gave you the law but grace and truth came from him and then we have the father which is in Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 4 where it describes the father as you know one of his attributes you know one of the the things that you can talk about the father is mercy and truth and then you also have grace and truth you have righteousness and truth so truth is always twinned or joined together with many of the attributes of God so truth is like that golden thread that is running through the Trinity Father Son and Holy Spirit and in much the same way this truth must be like a golden thread that runs through our three parts our spirit our soul and our body we are commanded to to be truthful and we know the meaning of truth is it's sincerity and honesty and righteousness all all that symbolizes truth and for the word of God in Psalm 15 to be able to say and give us that command to speak the truth in your heart it means that sometimes in our heart and if we are really honest and truthful with ourselves sometimes we lie in our heart we, we move in deception sometimes we exaggerate sometimes we stretch the truth you know uh, or sometimes even not with our spoken word but by our behavior and our actions we give uh, we create a different impression and any form of deception or exaggeration and the spoken word they all can be described as lies and we know who the father of lies is the word of God clearly and distinctly says that the enemy Satan he is the father of lies and we know towards the end coming to the end the word of God says that if the days won't shorten that the very elect will be deceived so that whole deception and lies is a whole strategy and plan of the enemy and a lot of times if we are not conscious and I say conscious because you really have to stay conscious of speaking the truth and living the truth in our hearts then we can be caught up in deception and then you know when we reach far along where we really deceived and we thrown back or we would have sinned or we would have fallen short or we would have ended up in a lying compromising situation we wonder well how did we get there but it started with that little 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 thing of not speaking the truth in your heart and God wants us to be transparent he wants us to be people of integrity our words our life must reflect truth which is of the father truth which is the son and truth which is of the Holy Spirit it is a command as as we walk with the Lord as we proclaim to be Christians as we you know move through our varying challenges of life we are required to be truthful in the book of Proverbs when it when they listed there the seven things that the Lord hates two of them had to do with lies you can check it out for yourself two of them of the seven things two of them had to do with lies we have to be truthful truthful in our actions truthful in our behavior truthful in the words that we speak truthful in the impressions we give to others truthful in our heart we have to be truthful it's a command God expects it of us and we have to move in that dimension of the glory of God because grace and truth mercy and truth righteousness and truth everything and truth goes hand in hand I would like us to really just pause and 
examine our lives and in, in examining our lives ask the spirit of truth ask the holy spirit to show you you where you may have fallen short in that area where you may have you know given certain impressions or, or behaved in a deceitful manner or simply was an outright liar i look at little children and one of the reasons why little children and i say this not to judge any child but i was also a little child once and you would all remember as little children one of our major sins <laughs> would have been telling lies and the reason why we would tell lies is that we are afraid we are afraid to get licks we are afraid we might get into trouble we are afraid that you know our peers or our parents may look at us in a particular kind of way so we told a lie to you know to get away with what we needed to get away with and uh, as adults i think we have to be more responsible where we take responsibility for our actions if we did something whether it was deliberate whether it was an error or you know whether we were tempted whatever we as adults uh, the onus is on us to take responsibility for our behavior for our actions for our spoken words and be honest you know um you know i really did that and i i really should not have done that we we could say that children they have not been cultured and learned in that areas yet and we as adults we have a responsibility to be truthful and also to teach our children truth because children and lies tend to go hand in hand for the simple fact they don't want licks and they don't want to be quarreled with they don't want to get into trouble and they just want to look nice and as an adult it's your responsibility to be truthful and what I have found personally is that if uh, if we say whatever the truth is uh, there is a freedom that comes upon us and the word of god also says that i think it's in john chapter 8 verse 32 it says you shall know the truth and in knowing the truth i believe it's also speaking the truth living the truth the truth shall make you free so there is a freedom when we tell lies because it's not something that actually happened like if we give in an account of something and we tell a lie because it didn't really really happen further down the road we tend to forget and uh, that's how lies come upon lies and then we eventually caught and we embarrassed and all that so speak the truth and chances are whoever it is you're speaking the truth with you know they may be upset with you in that moment but because you were honest and you were not you know going about in a way to deceive or to deliberately you know um have lack of integrity and all that then chances are you will be forgiven a lot quicker the word of god is here to guide us and to lead us to have the best life that we can we all at some point in time even on our best day we fall short of the glory of god in one way or the other however as we speak the truth in our hearts we speak the truth not only to our neighbors our family our friends the people who we interact with on a day-to-day -day basis but it is so important also to speak the truth to god tell god the truth if you have a weakness if your motive shifted from something if you deliberately sin whatever the truth is in your life i challenge you speak that truth to god and the spirit of truth will give you that enabling that helping so that you can overcome whatever your weaknesses are but speak the truth you know sometimes i would be praying and i will <clears throat> i will tell god you know exactly what is happening with me even though it's not supposed to be that i will say god the truth be told this is what i'm feeling now this is what is happening now however you know i know this is what your word says and you know i need your help to go further or live out how you want me to be in a certain situation and it also comes a lot with with that whole thing with forgiveness because if somebody would have wronged you and you 
you really hurt, you really upset. And here it is that the word of God says to forgive and don't let the sun go down on your wrath. And you know, you're battling now because you can't pretend as if as if it not hurt in you and as if it, it didn't really happen. So you come to God in in a spirit of truth. You say, God, this is what I feel now. <clears throat> this is my pain. This is what has happened to me. And the truth is, I don't feel like forgiving. But because uh, in your word, you commanded us uh, to forgive, uh, I choose to walk in obedience to you. So I forgive. And as we do that, uh, we are literally worshiping God in spirit and in truth. And that is what God is looking for, the true worshiper who will worship him in spirit and in truth. So telling God exactly what is happening with you or what you feel on the inside at a particular time, you, you're giving God the truth and it, it doesn't justify or mean that this is where you're going to stay. But telling him the truth is that you are opening your humanness to God. You're being truthful, you're being real, and then now you allow the Holy Spirit to take you into your correct response or your right behavior. And all of that is your acts of worship unto God. In Philippians, uh, I think it's chapter 4, it says, And whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things have good report. You know, all these things, God wants us to think on these things so that we have truth. All those beautiful things will help bring us to that place of having truth in the inward parts. Because as long as there is truth in the inward parts, and it's not our intention to deceive and it's not our plan to deceive and we're not conniving and concocting ways to get out of things you know and creating impressions and all of that then that truth on the inward part will be revealed on the outward on the outward part so saints you know i really challenge you today and it's, it's a real challenge sit before God, use the word of God. Some of the scriptures that I would have given to you, maybe if you have a pen and paper, you can write some of them down. I will call them out again and allow the spirit of truth to bring you into all truth because that is what God wants from us. I've had several instances, you know, where for no reason at all, I've seen grown people lie you know and when you when you examine why they would have done what they did it would be to create an impression sometimes males or females in you know when there is wrong or sin going on that whole hiding which comes with lying comes into play you know um we look at adam and eve in the garden of eden their first response after they they sinned and they did something wrong was to hide and hiding and lying to me they go they go hand in hand because we're not able to face what really is so we're ready to hide we're ready to create a different impression we're ready to say things that weren't really accurate you know and um, god is a merciful god he's a god of mercy and truth grace and truth righteousness and truth jesus is the way the truth and the life the spirit of truth is the one that is going to guide us and lead us into all truth you are encouraged please live a life of truth you may be viewing this program today and um, you've never made Jesus the Lord of your Savior and the, your Lord and Savior of your life. And you may have lived a very deceptive life, a very two-timing life. <clears throat> and, um, you know, you, you, you really want to turn that around and you want to change. Um, I encourage you to even right now to pause and confess your sins confess the life of lies that you have lived confess your deception and you know do your two-facedness your two-timing behaviors confess those before the lord and ask him to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness and begin a new pathway on the road of truth there's a little account that I'd like to share with you 
And I, I don't know, it just came to me while I was sharing now, and I believe it's for someone or for, you know, quite a few more persons. And it's the, it will highlight to you the impact of lies. Remember earlier when I said that truth must be like a golden thread that runs through your body, your soul, and your spirit. So it, truth is what brings you into like that golden thread, into perfect alignment. You're not here, there, you know, you're not disjointed. There was once this guy, a young, a young man, he probably would have been in his either 30s or early 40s and this happened abroad somebody gave me the account and you know I always it always stayed with me and this man he suffered a massive heart attack and it because of his age you know it was kind of really unusual so anyway he did not die but in his in his recovery process he sat with um, a, a doctor who specialized in the psychology of, of illness you know and uh, while he had the different sessions uh, with uh, the young man it was revealed that uh, this this business person that suffered the heart attack he was uh, you know corporate business you know he was high in the firm he had a family a wife and he had children and he was really well positioned in society. However, his job required that he travel from time to time to different states. So in each year, he would go out a couple of times on business trips, you know. And um, while on these business trips that he would go on, of course, leaving his family behind, his children and his wife, he had a totally different life in that here he was a father, a good businessman, looked up to and everything. And on these business trips, he had a homosexual relationship that, you know, that continued on for a while. And what happened with him in his heart? And, you know, we really have to be careful what we do. We may think that we could do physical things and it doesn't affect our soul. It doesn't affect our body. It doesn't, but it listen, we are a complete person just having three different areas that flow into each other like that one thread of truth going through so what happened is that his heart his physical heart could no longer bear the weight of that deception and of that double lifestyle that that his heart within himself you know it it it, it literally broke down and he had this heart attack and i share that to say to you that even when nobody's looking and even when we think that our actions and our behavior are private and they're secret god is looking god is seeing god is hearing and in addition to that we are putting our own bodies under pressure because truth brings with it a great measure of freedom lies bring with it burdens constantly looking over your shoulder creating more lies deception a whole host of things and rather than put your body which includes your blood pressure how your whole body functions your brain your spirit man everything instead of putting it under that pressure with lies i challenge you let truth let truth be your watchword in every situation and the more you find yourself you know becoming conscious of little lies and little deceptive acts and as you become conscious you repent quickly and move up you will move out of an area of all that lies deception and everything and you will walk in the truth that the spirit of truth came to bring to you the deliverance and when God says to us to do certain things and he guides us in certain direction it's not that God you know just want to be wicked to us or make life a burden or anything you know all God wants he created us he knows the best way that this tripod being could function and one of the best ways is to function in truth and I challenge you, take truth in the weapons, in your weapons of warfare, in the book of Ephesians, 
truth is one of your weapons of warfare that you gird about your loins. So we see how truth is powerful, how it is actually a weapon of warfare. So you want to be really girded properly with your, with your armor, have truth. You want freedom, the truth shall make you free. You want a good clean mind and a clear conscience, have truth. You want a heart that is right before God, speak the truth in your heart. And the truth will really lead you into God's presence because it says here that God is seeking. He is seeking for a true worshiper and the credentials for a true worshiper is one that will worship him in spirit and in truth. Viewers, I would like to pray for you. You know, I really hope that what I shared with you would be a blessing. I will call, I'll call all the scriptures before I pray so that in your own time, you can just look at it and allow the word of God to convict you, to bless you, to teach you and to guide you. So we had Deuteronomy 32 and verse 4, which spoke about God as the, you know, one of his attributes being truth. Then we had um, John 16, John 14, 6, and John 1, 7. We also had John 16, 13, <clears throat> Psalms 15, with speaking the truth in your heart, and John 8, 32, with knowing the truth and the truth making you free. Ephesians spoke about the girding your loins with truth, and in the first uh, epistle of John, it speaks a lot also about truth. Father, I give you thanks for your word today. God, thank you for, you know, all those who viewed this program. And God, I pray that it has been a blessing and it will continue to be a blessing. God, that you will bring conviction. God, that you will bring healing. But God, most of all, God, that truth will come forth from the inward parts and flow like a river, God, and we will all be made whole persons because of the truth. God, that we will position ourselves to be the true worshipers that you are looking for, the ones that will worship you in spirit and in truth. So Father, bless the viewers, bless them, uplift them, transform them by your word. In Jesus' name, amen. This has been the outpouring viewers for your transformation and also your refreshing. God bless you. Pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit. Be viewing the outpouring your for your refreshing and in filling. Pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit. Oh